Hi hey everyone, I'm Brady from Uplink Robotics, and this is going to be a video about the Martin Inspection Crawler. So, what is the Martin, you might be asking? Well, the Martin is our flagship inspection crawler. This is designed for anyone who has to crawl into tight spaces, uh, especially unsafe tight spaces. So jobs like first responders, or home inspectors, or pest control, anything like that where you're crawling under houses, or up inside uh, dangerous places, this rover is designed to go in there for you, so you don't have to. This is going to be a video where I'm going to unbox it, show you how to use it, and the first time set up, how to capture images and video through the remote, and how to save those onto your phone or other smart device. So, let's dive in. Alright, now let's go ahead and unbox your rover. So it should come in a box that looks just like this. Go ahead and open it up. And first thing on the top is all of the paperwork that comes with the rover. So right here is the quality assurance check sheet that should come with your rover. Right here we have gone through as we assembled the rover and tested the rover once it was assembled. And each of these should be checked off and initialed by one of the people at Uplink and making sure it worked. Down here is the packing label to make sure we included everything that needed to be shipped to you. Next is the quick guide. This is, should be everything you need to get up and running with your rover. It goes through how to charge everything, how to turn it on, how to use it properly, and then how to uh, download images and videos from the rover onto your phone or other smart device. Next is our warranty sheet. So we have a one year warranty on this rover and this is talks about everything that is and is not covered in that. So let's go ahead and open it up, take this top layer of foam off. And right here is your transmitter. So the transmitter is right here. It comes with the mount for the video monitor on it right here. You can loosen this up and then point it wherever you want it to attach the video monitor. So there's that. Over here you've got your video monitor. This should be wrapped in bubble wrap. but. Here it is in this sleeve that it comes in. So there's that. Over here, you've got your battery charger. This is the charger for the rover battery. And right here is the cable to plug that into the wall. So plug that in right here to power this and charge your rover battery. Right here is the charger for the video monitor. So it's got this connector right here to plug into the video monitor to charge it up. And then we've got some odds and ends that come with each of the, the, the camera and the video monitor that's in this box. So here is a little um, like container thing for the camera if you want to mount the camera to other things if you decide to remove it for some reason. There is also a power cable for the video monitor if you power it off of a battery. And then here is a connector to connect the video monitor to your TV actually. to. Um, view images or to attach any other kind of AV in to the video monitor to view it on there. And then here is a cable to charge the camera if the battery, if you want to use the, the battery with the camera also. So finally we've got the rover over here. Should be in there nice and tight. You can see it here. Inside of it in the battery tray is the battery. So if you undo the thumb screw and open it up, there's the battery. Should not be plugged in. And yeah, that is everything in the box. So now let's walk through your first time setup and charging. All right, now that you have unboxed your rover, it's time for your first time setup and charging all the devices. So the first thing you need to do is charge everything. For the transmitter, which is this, this the remote transmitter, that's the same thing. It has double A's in the back. So here's four double A's. It should come with them. Once this dies, you'll have to replace those. It shows the battery level on the screen right here when it's turned on. The video monitor, you use this included charging cable. I'll plug this end in the wall, and then this end plugs in right here on this bottom most port on the left side of the video monitor. A light will turn on right here, and once this light is green, this battery light, that means that it is fully charged. Next thing you need to charge is the battery for the rover, which is this guy right here, which should have been inside your rover under this thumb screw. To charge that, you're going to use this included charger. Uh, there are two ports on the bottom here. You're going to use the bigger one, 
and plug it into this connector on the battery. This is a JST connector. When you plug that in, this light should turn red, and once it is fully charged, it will turn blue. So once you've got everything charged, you're ready to go. So first thing you need to do, actually, is turn on the transmitter. You always need to make sure you turn on the transmitter first and completely initialize it, otherwise the rotation of the camera will not work. And also you need to have this on before the rover so you have control of the rover at all times. So when you turn on this transmitter, it's going to beep like this and show this screen right here. This means you need to put all of these switches in the upmost position and lower this stick. Once you've lowered it, it's good to recenter it. This is the camera control stick. Once this is ready to go, you're ready to plug in the battery and power on the rover. Let's go ahead and take the thumb screw lid out, set the battery right here, and plug in these two connectors. They Make sure that black goes to black and red goes to red. Uh, you shouldn't be able to plug the connector in the wrong way, but just make sure. Go ahead and plug that in, and then slide the battery in, tuck down those wires, and put the lid back on. The best way to put this on is make sure this side is lined up and good, then hold it down as you thread in this thumb screw all the way down until it bottoms out to make sure your battery doesn't come out. So once that's ready to go, you're going to go ahead and turn it on using the power switch in the back here. You've got the power switch right here underneath the handle and over here is the battery level indicator. So when I turn this on, you can see this has three quarter batteries, I believe. Yep, this battery is three quarter of the way charged. And also one thing to mention, this transmitter, it goes to sleep after a while if you don't use it. So you can hear here, it's beeping. So the only thing you need to do when it does that is just move a stick or something like that. So now that the rover is turned on and ready to go, you are ready to drive it. So to drive it, you use these sticks right here. It's makes sense the way it drives. Forward is forward, and you've got left and right and reverse. This stick right here turns the camera up and down. Should have about 55 degrees rotation on this camera to point it up and down. Then this switch right here turns on the lights. So it's got spotlights right here that shine off into the distance to light up far away areas, and it's got these angled floodlights on the front as well to light up nearby things. So once the rover is all ready to go, you're good to turn on the video monitor. So hold down this power button on the far right until the screen turns on, then you can let go and it should light up. There is the live view from the camera. So now that your rover is on and ready to go, you are ready to start inspecting. All right, now that you have set up your rover for the first time, I'm gonna show you how to record video and images. So before you turn on the rover, make sure you have this SD card in there. It comes with an SD card, but make sure you haven't pulled it out. And if it's not in there, this light will be blinking. So if it's solid, that means we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and set that on the ground, and I'll show you how to activate from the transmitter. So. Here's the transmitter. It's going to be this switch right here is how you start and stop video recording. So to start video recording, you need to flip it down and back up real quick. So down and up, the camera should beep, and then you've got this recording indicator right here. This means that the rover is currently recording 4K video. So you can go ahead and drive around, take a look at things, and you are recording 4K video. Also, on the rover, if you can see down there on the bottom right, the blue light should be flashing. That means that it is also recording. So, in order to capture images, you need to make sure you are not recording. So, go ahead and flip it. It should beep twice. That means it's not recording. And then it will show this. This is the resolution that it's recording at. So, 4K at 30 frames per second. And then you need to flip this switch down and up three times really fast. So down, up, down, up, down, up. And then the screen should go black for a second and it is into image mode. So let's go ahead and do that now. So screen went black, the camera beeped, and that 2160p30 went away. So now we are in image mode. So every time I flip this down and back up, 
it's taking a picture. So these are eight megapixel pictures that it is capturing. So let's go ahead, take a look out this window, capture some images. So. All right, in order to switch back into video mode, oh, also the light on the rover should be green. That indicates that it is in video mode or picture mode, excuse me. So to get it back into video mode, you just need to switch it down and up two times. So down, up, down, up. So just like that. And now that 2160p30 came back and you can now start and stop recording videos just like it was when it started. When you first turn it on, it will always initialize in video mode and you'll have to switch it into picture mode to use that. So next we are going to talk about how to get these pictures onto your phone or onto any other device. Alright, so now that you have completed an inspection and you are ready to transfer these photos, I'm going to show you how to transfer photos and video onto your phone or another smart device through the Wi-Fi connection from the camera. So go ahead and turn your camera, your, your rover on, uh, make sure the transmitter is on first, and then you're going to press this little button on the camera right here that says Wi-Fi on it. So go ahead and press that once, the camera should beep, and then that light should start flashing. That means that it is waiting for a connection, and the screen should go ahead and say the Wi-Fi network and the password for that network. So for this one, it is RC2 underscore 4K underscore Martin 1. Yours should have all of that first stuff, but then the number at the end should be different depending on the serial number of your device. Go ahead and connect to that, and then you're going to need to launch the RunCam app, which is an app that you can find on most uh, app stores, and it is from the manufacturer of this camera. So once you have connected to the Wi-Fi, go ahead and open up the app. You should be greeted with this page. You need to select your camera. We have the RunCam 2 4K and then connect to your camera. Once it is connected, it should show a live preview from the camera. And in the bottom left, there is this little album button. Click on that and then click on the album button in the top right. Click on select and then select which images or videos you would like to download. And then in the bottom right is the download button. And you will have to give the app access to your photos, but then it will download those photos onto your smart device through Wi-Fi. You can also download images from the camera using the SD card in the back of the camera, just like any other camera. So this has been a unboxing and first time setup of your Martin inspection crawler. If you have any problems, go to uplinkrobotics.com support and fill out the form. Um, other than that, thanks for watching and happy inspecting.